Hmm, two things, coffee and being exploited. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe in order to get all these awesome videos in which we talk about chemical process engineering and student life, professional life, and a lot of things on the industry, companies, uh, job decisions, and all that. And going back to the video, of course, coffee is something I really miss, especially being in the area, working in the factory, and then going to the office, having my hot cup of coffee, having these little drinks. It's something I really missed. And of course, getting exploited, that's a joke. It's one of the least things I remember enjoying. It's something I really hated. But sometimes someone has to do the hard work. But anyways, let's go back to the actual topic, which is things I really missed from being a process engineer. If you don't remember, I used to be a process engineer back in the 2012, 2014 or 15, something like that. And I was a polymer textile engineer. So it was great because we worked on the polymer part, which was the polyester things. And then we worked on the textile formation of the yarn and the clothes and all that. So it was really something great. And it's been since 2015, 14, I don't know, since I started my own business on teaching online. I have been trying a lot of courses, a lot of online products, a lot of platforms, and a lot of ways to try to deliver the best content for all the chemical engineers out there, either if you're studying in bachelor degree or maybe masters, or if you're already working and want to learn or refresh some knowledge. Talking of which, I of course miss a lot of things on being a process engineer, being in the industry, and it's something I want to share with you. So this may be great for those wondering what's process engineering or what are the great things I remember being back then in engineering or maybe if you're a process engineer, try to resonate. It will be great to share our stories, know what's similar, what's not, and it will be great to have your input as well. Or maybe you're in a office job or an administration job and you don't get to go to the factory. Maybe you're wondering if that's something great to do or what's the difference, maybe compare and have some comments as well. So let's get started. The very first thing I gotta admit I missed a lot is going to the factory. So literally going to this magic place in which production is taking place 24 seven all year round. And there's uh, three shifts, morning shift, afternoon shift, night shift, and watching the equipment work, all this, and I know it sometimes cannot be that great, the noise, but having that industrial noise was something I really appreciated. I really love to go to the field or to the actual chemical plant and see how the polymer was being produced, how the jar was being formed, check out with the operators, have a quick chat on how the process is doing, how they are doing, and overall what's happening in the chemical plant. I really remember enjoying the walk from my car to the office because I had this opportunity to see all the, let's say, skyline, which is not technically skyline, it was a pipeline or a lot of pipelines and it's something that, I don't know, it's as a chemical engineer, like being a student and drawing a lot of piping systems and eventually going back to the industry, checking out those pipelines, it's something I really missed a lot. And if I will go back to process engineering, I will really try to pay more attention into those moments while you're walking in the chemical plant. Another thing I really remember I really enjoyed a lot was that the routine was not actually a routine, so there was something new always. And I really love how when I didn't have that much things to do, the day was spent like very slowly, it passed, I don't know, I was counting the minutes and I was like, man, this is so slow. But when we had a lot of issues, we had some problems, we were trying to fix with the sellers or the buyers, we wanted to verify new suppliers, get some product done or packed and go and work with logistics, go and work with quality, speak with the maintenance guys or maybe the operation itself, is it okay or not, interacting with the managers, all that was really great. Having a chaotic, hectic day was pretty common, but I really appreciate it that it was something new and I think for the brain, I'm not a doctor, but I really think it's a great thing to have something new to solve. 
Another thing I miss, and I think is something that may still be happening due to the pandemic, is connecting with people. So going to the office, having this little chit chat with uh, my boss, with my colleagues, maybe with other people. I remember having a good connection with the computers team or IT team, having a chat with operators or talking about football, the Olympics, whatever was the case. I really enjoy having that connection. And when we tried to solve problems, it was something that really helped me a lot. It was easier for me to contact someone I knew uh, because we already share something, they are more willing to help you than if you're the typical guy that is just there in the office not wanting to interact. And when you need something, then you are there, right? You're only there when you need something. So having this interaction is something I really miss a lot because I'm really those type of person that like to connect with people, have some social interactions, and I'm not that kind of a guy going to the office and stay in the monitor and the computer like two or three hours doing nothing. So definitely something to consider. If you are out there, please try to pay extra attention on how is your social interaction in the chemical plant. One of the things I really miss as well, especially being a entrepreneur or online e-commerce professor, freelancer, or yeah, whatever going by myself, is having a salary. So guys, if you are employed, it's something very important to consider. Having a cash flow for you, for your spendings, is something great. I really remember that I could make a lot of decisions because I knew that in the future I will have certain amount of savings or certain amount of cash flow. And right now, it's kind of hard to predict the future, so it's something I really missed back then. That I was always on the financial status, like feeling confident. And it's something that if you're an entrepreneur or freelance, may not be the case. So definitely it's something to consider as well. Could you withstand not having a regular income? One of the things I also enjoy a lot was the trainings we had there. So we had our continuous training or so, which was essentially trying to improve the knowledge or the capacity or skills of the people. So the company was really into training people. I remember that we had some quality training, some environmental trainings. Also for certain managers, they had some like business oriented diplomas from Stanford and all that. For the operators, they, they had some trainings, specifically if they wanted to go to a machine or, or learn something that will help them go even further in their professional career. And it felt so great because you know that the company is investing on you and the reverse, you are giving the company company value. So it's kind of like a virtuous cycle, which I love a lot to say. And last but not least, guys, I really love checking out at 6 p.m. So after 6 p.m., I could maybe send some messages or emails or maybe even call for something urgent. But overall, all the afternoon was free for myself. So I could go and check out some sports, go to the gym, running, do my hobbies, learn some musical instrument, do whatever I wanted. Which, if I compare to right now, I cannot do it because I'm always thinking in this status that I gotta produce, produce, produce. I gotta do this marketing campaign. I gotta prepare this course. I gotta record some YouTube videos. I gotta write some emails. I gotta check out the platform of the educational content. And yeah, definitely there's always something extra to do that if I compare to before, I will say that once I checked out at 6 p.m. and if there's no urgent matter, the time is actually for me. It's free time. And of course, you're going to tell me that it's my problem that I don't organize myself. And yeah, that's true. Actually, it's very hard to separate my personal life from my work life because it's kind of intertwined. I, I don't know how to say it, but it's not that straightforward to separate the work from your life. While being a process engineer was great that you just checked out and everything was gone. Those were some things I either remember a lot enjoying or I'm looking forward, like if in the future I will go back, which I know it's very unlikely, but I will really pay extra attention and enjoy those moments, like going to the machines, trying to solve problems, interacting with people. I don't know, those things are like awesome. And now I want to hear from you guys, especially if you're a process engineer, what is that that you enjoy the most right now? What is that that you feel is like 
core part of being process engineer and that you want to share it, uh, please add it in the comment sections. We really appreciate it. I myself, I, I'm sure I will appreciate it like to compare or resonate with you. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that follow the channel that are into process engineering and especially students that may or may not want to go to process engineering. It will be great to have some contents in that. And of course, they will be the ones selecting the best choice, but at least they will have more knowledge on what's something great on process engineering, what the process engineers miss or love a lot and so on. And guys, that was it. Thank you very much for checking out the content. If you have been checking out my channel, I don't know, since the last weeks, you will see that I have been trying to have a new video each week. And I will really appreciate it if you tell me some ideas that you may want to see on future videos, because I'm really considering getting video ideas from you guys. And it will be really great to have some ideas from you directly, guys. And that's it. That was my take on the things I made on process engineering. See you in the next video. Thank you.